Yo, what's good? It's Frankie Diamonds TV reporting for FKZ TV News. So on this Monday morning, uh, of course, everybody kind of disappointed with J. Cole, his light skin actions, bowing out to Kendrick like that. And speaking of that, um, academics was going off on the J. Cole situation and Meek asserted himself and he's going off talking about, man, see the white man pays you to destroy the rap community and this and that. Like, man, we ain't even, that ain't even what was on, man. We just want to see some competition here. But nonetheless, he decides, and while he's calling out academics for destroying the rap community from the inside, you calling out one of your label mates. And I know I'm living on another planet because I didn't even realize MMG was still like popping like that. I like, yo, I forgot about MMG and they was label mates. But nonetheless, he's upset because Dean Stay Ready uh, took a photo with Wale recently. And he didn't like this photo. And now he wants to declare war <laughs> on Wale. I don't know. These two cats was at WrestleMania this past weekend. Maybe they in that spirit all of a sudden. But he's calling out Wale on this Monday, uh, the Eclipse Day. And he goes and says, Wale never liked me. Now I'm going to treat him like the streets every time I see him. Three E's on it. I gave him a thousand chances. These guys be thinking they linking with the enemy. Called him a clown. I would have... Knew the other day I would have stretched you, pause. <laughs> That's not the right thing for me to be saying right now. Uh, he says, I feel in a way I would have made Wale dip. He's trying to take pics with Ruben, like a groupie. Now he's sitting around with bums in Philly, ops. This is my thing. Like, Meek is like 30, mid, mid 30s, gotta be. You still, you still got ops? Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Anyone who could take him serious that's really the beef with him, if you want to do that, you can. Wale, of course, res you know, responded the way Wale typically would. I mean, Wale's not a street cat. Uh, and he says, when you get in other people's business, unserious drama 90% of the time, you know, these people are friends. You get involved, and next thing you know, you looking silly. So I'm going to mind my business on this happy Monday and go on, you know. And Meek is just continues to tweet throughout the day. Uh, it's really his therapy, you know what I'm saying? We had arguments before years back, but I came in this game, get money with him. I'm not holding any grudges against my people. Goes on and on. You know, Ross, me, Wale, they whole history and they whole foundation, how they came of age. But like I say, this to me, this really stems with his issue with academics, if anything. Uh, and this is where he's pissed off at because this guy, Dean Stay Ready, uh, was taking jabs at him in the academics post, and he can't stand academics. And I'm like, would well, well, they two just put the gloves on already, like Ack and, and Meek, and just get it over with? Like, we get it. Y'all don't rock with each other. It is what it is. But now, you know, Meek has just become a joke as far as the way people look at him. His credibility's gone. He's on here begging for validation, you know, begging for street credit again. So I'm like, y'all forget I was raised in, in jail you know what I mean? Philadelphia. I'm like, bro, we, <laughs> you almost, what, you 35, 36 years old, still begging for, for street cred. Still bragging about rollies. Like, there's been no growth. It's a reason why that album with him and Ross, they dropped at the end of the year, it didn't do much. There's no growth, man. These cats are still rapping about the same stuff they was doing 10, 15 years ago. No, no growth. All you see him doing is, is doing silly stuff. And constantly just being the butt of jokes. Like, he, from everything you could think of, he's just like, he's he's a walking embarrassment. I get secondhand embarrassment when I look at Meek Mill. That's exactly what it is. You know what I mean? He, everything about him is cringe. You just can't uncorny somebody like that, bro. You know what I mean? I, I kind of pity for him sometimes. He just can't help himself. You know what I mean? But now, with all of this Diddy stuff, you know what I mean? He's the, he's the punchline right now. And he's tired of being ridiculed, but... Yeah, it is what it is, bro. You can't be mad at people for taking pictures with other people. Like it's like you, you said it yourself. He's saying that him and Wale, Wale always had some kind of animosity towards him. He feels like Wale was envious because his career took off and he was a more successful. He goes on and on. Like I said, he's just bro, he's been tweeting nonstop all morning. Like you can't even keep up with it. Now he's talking about deleting tweets. Like real Real ratchet female hood rat behavior from me, man. That's what he's acting like right now. But let me know what y'all think. Uh, reporting for FKZ TV News, Frankie Diamonds TV. I'm out. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV.
one wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Kings of Carmen, it's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me old, he fuck with lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my s**t. <laughs> ain't no point of both of us get <laughs> I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> No, sir! Punchline, punchline, punchline. Get out of the car. Give me a second.